<laughs> I am so gonna fall on my face and break my legs. You know that's gonna be a thing. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay. Oh, greetings, guys and girls, fellow gamers. My name is Games for Kicks, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. Today, we're gonna look at one of the designs that I kind of hinted upon in the end of the last episode. We were playing around with the um, the drawbridges, and we're gonna see if we can make some use of that because that looks really awesome. And I also have an idea that I saw from one of the other screenshots for the other floating parts of the base where we potentially can use some traps on that. Like, you guys are amazing. Keep sending me those screenshots, guys. I want to incorporate them in the Let's Play to test them out and to actually see, like, how they're gonna work. I I'm, I'm really can't wait for the next Horde Night. It's gonna be amazing. It's completely gonna get destroyed, probably. But you know what? We have enough time to play around with it. Anyway, I hope you guys are gonna enjoy the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Now, actually, I have to say thank you to Yar, who gave me um, an idea. Well, I'm just uh, basically stealing her idea. She was saying that she was bored one evening and tried it out, and it seems to work. And I was very curious and see if I actually can get that to work as well. I assume it will work, because if it works for one person, it should work for the other. But you know the way we have this little area only here that we're going to have, uh, our, that we have our mushrooms. So I was thinking, instead of making this bigger, yeah, and mushrooms, I don't know if that still is the case. I know they grow above ground, but I always assumed that they only grow in the dark, really, yeah? So, excuse me, what I was going to, st to do now is, based on Yara's um, information, is to put grassy ground on the ceiling. So we're going to do that and we need uh, three more. Okay, that's fine. Let's get three more grassy ground. There we go. Excellent. And what we're going to do then is we're going to fill this up with... Uh, we're going to hold this dirt as well and we're going to put more mushroom seeds on top. And they should grow down. Well, they should just grow because they just pop. And then I was thinking, I wonder if that works with trees. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're just literally going to drill a hole in here uh, very deep um, I would say I don't know about five blocks maybe I don't know we'll see I don't know how far a tree has to grow okay I have no idea but what I want to do is I want to put a tree here a tree seed and see if we can get a tree to grow upside down. Just for the crack of it. Why not? You know, we can always fill this hole back up. So I'm not really too worried about it. So I think that that is enough. Yeah. Okay, so let's make one more burnt grassy earth. Like, let's put this down. And there we go. And now we're going to hoe this. Where's my hoe? There we go. Oh, oh, that's snowballs. Okay, I thought I had more dirt there. Now what we're going to do is hoe this. Okay, it's hold. And now we're going to put... Um, actually, let's put this one on. I like this tree better. Oh, does it not work? No! It doesn't work! Yeah, that's not a thing. That's not gonna work. Okay, so we're gonna have to make some stones and fill this back up that hole, otherwise everything's gonna collapse. So upside down trees, it's not a thing. Ah, it's a pity. It would've been nice. But it seems that this is a, th is a thing, which is nice. So, let me see. Unless they fix that as well, I would be very surprised if it works for one person, not for the other. So, let's just hold it all. Okay. I'm gonna make sure I get it all. There we go. Nice. Is there anything we forgot? No? Just wanna make sure. It's really weird doing it upside down. Okay. Excellent. Now let's put the two mushroom seeds down and see if that works. It seems to work. Oh, look, it needs... Oh, okay. It actually is too low because, look, it needs... Oh, interesting. So it needs two blocks on either side. So these guys need two blocks up. And the only reason this works is because I don't have a mushroom there, which means we have to do the whole thing one more, uh, one more up. So you need two blocks on each side... That is interesting. So we're going to leave that here as a test and see if that works, which potentially means that thing here could work as well. And what is the height of a tree then? So maybe it's just a height thing. No, it says it only needs two as well. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. 
All right, yeah, we're gonna have to fix this. So tree is a no-go, I think, and mushrooms seems to be a thing that you can do upside down, which makes me think, can we do something outside where we have a farm where everything is upside down and the normal way around and save space that way and make a greenhouse kind of where the, on the top everything's upside down? That would be awesome. Okay, I made a new wrench and I took all the other wrenches that I have and we're gonna repair them. Come on, repair. And now we're going to merge them together. Now, the thing is that I can only craft a 350. And the next level in toolsmithing is going to be when I'm level 80. And that's going to cost us 18 points. Actually, we are nearly level 80. We're level 79. So that is awesome. So which means we should be able to craft level 400 tools then and then upgrade them to 500 because i did a couple of steel pickaxes steel fire axes and i was only able to merge it up to 480 well four four eight whatever it wouldn't go for higher than 450 sorry 450 because you can make 350 so if we can make 400 then we have our first purple tool that would be awesome so let's do this 38 there we go four five 419 actually instead of doing that we should probably use one of those 440 now nah, let's do that and then we're gonna do that excellent 448 there you go so we have another 350 and we have a 448 wrench which is absolutely fantastic excellent now this wrench is gonna be awesome because we're gonna have to go and get more engines because we need another two or three concrete mixers as well let me just finish this here on the ground then we're gonna go outside and we're gonna have a look at the floating thing i just had to make a lot of concrete blocks um concrete mixes so we can make some concrete blocks so i just tried it out and uh, these guys need three they need one for the seed and then one two another two and uh, they so i made this high enough i tilted it but none of these actually will snap to it and including the corn i tried that already and you can see it only has a simple turn so it can't turn which is a pity but it just means that's oh great it didn't destroy it Excellent. So it just means that we can't do upside down. So why does it work with mushrooms? Is it intentionally or is that a bug? I mean, if it's intentionally, um, I suppose anything can really grow upside down, I would assume. I'm not really 100% sure on that. But um, anyway, I just try to try it out and let you guys know so that um, we know for sure that in the game you can't really do things upside down except for mushrooms apparently so i don't know again if it's intentionally or not now let's see how we're gonna get this to work <laughs> this is awesome i really love this because there's really a high gap that you can um so we can build on top of these okay which is here this is the top i think or is it on top of here let me see so if we build if we put a block here we can put one on top okay so this is basically where it starts um Okay, so that makes sense. So let's put a concrete block in there. I just made some wet concrete. Okay. Excellent. So let's start doing that. Now, let's also... Oh, two birds' nest. I already lose them. Of course I did. Why would I not do that? That's like... Yeah, you didn't press the red button yet. Of course you did. <laughs> Now let me see okay so can we attach to that directly no we can't so this gap down there is lit i thought i heard dogs this gap literally is this gap there beside it so we are going to have to build around it okay that makes sense that makes sense now okay so we're gonna go here And that is how we have to build around it. Very good. I like it. Now we might as well just see if we can go along here. There we go. <laughs> I am so going to fall on my face and break my legs. You know that's going to be a thing. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay. Oh, crap. What did I say? What did I say? I'm going to fall down and break my legs. Okay. So the good thing is that this is going to be a platform now. There we go. This is going to be a platform now up there that we can build on top of. Yeah. Which is good. So let me just get my uh, brain cells together. Okay. So seeing that it's concrete... 
I'm just trying to think. There's nothing underneath. Well, there's everything underneath. I mean, this here is the only thing that's holding it underneath, which means all these things here are not really on top of it. So what is on top of it? Um, let me think. Let me think. Because obviously I want to see where is the strong point of this. I mean, I would assume that everything here on top now is going to be the strong point. So if we... Let me see. If we build on top of here... There. That is it. That is where everything is going to go. Right here on top. Let me see, let me go over here. Just this time, don't don't fall down. Excellent. So right here, this is where we can put all the weight. This pillar here is where all the weight goes, which means we can make a platform maybe three by three, something like that, and uh, build out on it, and that's about it. So let me just get this. Excellent. So let's take make let's make more concrete wet concrete blocks. Let's make about 50. And then we also need some wedges or ramps, whatever. Let me see. Ramps. No, not the wedge tips, the ramps. Concrete ramps. There we go. Okay, and we need about, I don't know, about 15, something like that. We'll see. Okay, let's see how this is going to work. Excellent. Now this is try. What I would like to do is have these guys... Okay, turn around. There we go. Like that. Okay. And then, of course, put another block here. Now, I don't know if that's feasible or not, but I don't even know if it's going to be able to carry that much. There we go. I think this would be great to have a platform this high. And then, of course, we're going to have to build on top of here so we don't fall down, which is great. So here we go. Excellent. Gap covered. Ah, balls. I put the wrong blocks down, did I? Oh. I didn't. That's interesting. <laughs> Oh, I did. Ah, balls. I'm not sure when it's gonna collapse or how it's, if it's gonna collapse, but because theoretically in the middle we have an ongoing support block. So theoretically none of this should collapse. <laughs> but we'll see. There we go. Okay, so now that this is uh, upgraded here, let's put these guys here. Let me just rotate that the right way around. There we go. Nice. Okay. Um, all right, so this can go here. No, this goes here. Okay. Yeah, I know what that is. This one is a corner a Concrete corner thing. Oh Okay, what do you call it then a corner? It's a corner thing and um, flax on which full corner The full corner concrete full corner. Okay, so we need at least four of them Come on, just give me one. There we go. And that has to go here. Excellent. Nice. And then we have another two ramps here. And one over there, which is going to be the same direction as that. And then another corner piece here, I think. Excellent. So, this is now as it's supposed to be. Oh, I hurt myself. This is what it's going to look like all the way around when it's done. But before I continue building on the other side... Why am I moving closer? Oh, because I was actually moving over the ground. I was like, oh, what's going on? I was like, why is it going up, 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 up? Anyway, before I do the other side like that, I want to upgrade the middle to full steel. Because the middle parts are going to carry everything. So they're going to have to be... Like, not the middle part here, not these guys. These guys here in the middle, they have to be full steel. Now the drawbridge itself, I, I think, can carry 320 max. So it should be okay um, for us to build around it like that. So, But I want to make sure that the centerpiece that is on top there is fully upgraded to steel. So I'm going to get my steel. I'm going to upgrade that to concrete first, though, so we don't forget about that. 
Let's have a look here. And then on top of it, we can just use wood. That's absolutely fine. This is the part here that we need to upgrade to steel. Because this is what is connected all the way through, all the way to the bottom. Because this is the part where the drawbridges meet and where basically there is an invisible continuous block, which is the drawbridge itself. And look at that for awesome. We actually can walk on the drawbridge as well, which is really really cool and i like that so much that we can actually walk on it that is just too awesome this is so cool and the good thing is you could build another drawbridge just on the other side the other way around so that the two broad drawbridges meet on the top and you can have two of those floating pillars and then you have enough support to build a building on top that is going to be awesome. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to build on the other side something where the drawbridges meet exactly like that in the center. And then on the bottom, like literally, we're going to have then the support between the two being able to carry so much that we should be able to build like a wooden structure on top of it. That would be... <laughs> oh, man. That, that is just all too awesome. Like, I can't wait for that to be done like that. Okay, so I'm going to wait for that to dry before I continue. But in the meantime, I'm going to go over there and we're going to try out something else. All right, so we're going to queue them up in the meantime. Here we go. Uh, mechanical parts, plates. There we go. So plate traps. We're going to craft one here. It only takes two minutes, which is great. And we're going to craft one here as well. There we go. Oh, we still need to find an auger blade. I can't wait. I need so I need an auger so badly. I mean, I'm crafting steel like a maniac, and I had like hundreds and hundreds of iron uh, burned out here, and we're still using it all up. I mean, look at this. I burned nearly an extra 5,000 clay. In the meantime, I already spent that much iron again. It's ridiculous. Okay, might as well take that out. And that out, yeah, we definitely need a multitude of cement mixers and we need to get an auger. We need to go on a run and hopefully find an auger plate. It's something we're going to have to find. It's ridiculous. So let's go up upstairs. Look at this. It's getting there. I'm slowly getting everything in shape. It's going to look awesome when it's done. Once these two guys are connected here, it's going to look really, really nice. So we have this guy here going roundy. Now, this should be in the middle, but it's not, you know, so I, I, it's okay. I don't really mind. Like, I should have probably done it in a way that this was in the middle rather than this was in the middle, if you know what I mean. But we we could potentially do it in a segue thing. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense, like in a kind of curvy thing. I don't think if that's, I don't know if that's going to work. But, um, well, I don't know. I don't think so. But we'll see. So I have all the steel now. It's getting dark now as well. It's going to take a while to craft the plate trap. So let's upgrade that to steel and let's finish that part here as well. Now, okay, I have to be careful here. Let's go. So here I also put the rams down because you guys were saying... Ah, shit. Great. We have a dog. Wonderful. And Molotov cocktails is also something we're going to have to look at. Okay, that dog is just stupid. Let's kill the screamer first. Yes. There we go. Nice. Love it. Don't destroy my spikes, lady. Okay, please don't destroy my spikes. You are a pain in the booty. What are you doing, dog? Come on. Come on, dog. There we go. Nice. <sighs> Unbelievable. Come on. Excellent. Luckily, there was no other dog. Very good. Otherwise, we would have been in trouble. And I'm making so much steel so I can upgrade all these spikes for the next horde night. But hey-ho, it's just not going to be. Now, let's go over there. Sorry for the small interruption. And let's go back up here and upgrade these to steel. I, cl I cleaned out the area a little bit so it's nice and flat so the zombies don't get any ideas. Let's go here. Oh, still higher. Holy balls. This is really high. Wow. Okay. So I think we're going to make this go a little bit longer because I would like to see if it can carry everything to the point where it, um, well, can go as far out to carry that much of a platform. That would be awesome. Okay. Now these guys will carry most of the weight now. End of story. So simple as that. There we go. Okay, 
I hope we're not gonna break our legs. I really hope this stays. <laughs> oh, please, please, please. Okay, oh, okay, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it. Okay, that seems solid. It seems solid. Okay. Um. That doesn't need to be concrete, really, does it? I don't think so. I just want to make sure the distribution is okay. Maybe... Maybe it should be concrete. I don't know, but we can't build on top of here anyway. So... Yeah, let's let's make this concrete and see if it collapses. End of story. Oh, man. I'm so nervous about this. Okay, wow. Okay. Oh, that was actually just about enough. This is awesome. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is insane. That that actually works is absolutely insane. And I know I've created this to, to steal and now I'm just thinking, hang on. There's nothing hanging off it, actually, that needs to be... Well, even if we put a wood structure on it, at least we have a good hold on that. I don't know. I'm still new to building the, with this uh, kind of logic, so... I'm bound to make mistakes or do redundant things and waste some resources. But if you have done this before and you have like a step-by-step -step thing that you follow that you found really, really good to be able to build like a structure on top, let me know, you know, in the comments below. Post the link. Where just come, upload your images to image your uh, IMG dot your whatever and uh, link it to me in the chat in the comments as well or send it to me on Twitter and I will check it out. Absolutely. This is really cool. I'm really excited for this. Oh, man. And then... We are, this is not in the middle because it's four, so we have another side here and another two here. Yeah, that's okay. Excellent. Okay, I think we're gonna leave this first episode here. This is really awesome. I'm really enjoying this so far. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls and I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, huge pass and happy gaming. Theoretically, this should work. <laughs> Theoretically. <laughs> so all we really need to do is we need to make sure that we have support for this. Because we're going to have to knock all this down now. Okay, so we have support for this. And this is a 3x3 three three area. So now hopefully we can knock down the whole centerpiece here without this collapsing. Now, these blocks should hold everything in place. Now, let's see. We can destroy this, obviously. But this is what I'm worried about here. Ah, bolts. Okay. I would have assumed that it actually can be held in place by this, but that's okay. Do you know what? That's fine. I don't really mind. So, we're gonna find a different way of stabilizing it uh, for the other ones, but that's how you test things. Okay. Now let's clear this up. I really would have assumed that it actually held this. I mean, it should have. Bit weird. Okay. Oh no! It didn't because it was one more higher up, I think. Oh, okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So the point of this is that we can now put in here this okay this is the whole point of this exercise excellent <laughs> and now we can uh, put blocks on top of it which can be flagstone blocks that's fine so ah, i put everything away it doesn't matter but the whole point is that we can put now on top of that the flagstone blocks and then we basically have a floating trap that if the guys come they have to run through this and they're going to get um obviously decapitated or whatever 